Hello and welcome to The Repair Specialist and before I go into this video I want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers and those who have been viewing my videos recently. Thank you so much for that. It really helps give me the motivation to keep producing more material like this. So again a huge thank you. And so let's get stuck in and in this video I'm going to explain the kind of things that can occur when four stroke engine oil is used instead of two stroke engine oil in a two stroke engine. So that means when there's a mix of two stroke fuel and four stroke engine oils put in with the fuel instead of the correct two stroke engine oil. And what I'm about to tell you is based on my own opinions and experience. Over the years I've repaired, used and researched two stroke engines. And so in that case then, let's take some four stroke engine oil and some two stroke engine oil. And we'll just put them to one side and we'll bring in a fuel can here. And let's imagine we can see inside this fuel can. And so I'm showing here that we've got petrol fuel in here, the darker grey up to this point. And the first point I want to make then is one of the first things we do really, and that's mixing the oil and fuel. And of course, as we know, if we take the two stroke oil and then place a metered amount into the four stroke neat fuel and then give it a good shake to mix the two together, then we simply have our two stroke mix to whatever ratio we've decided to make it at. Let's say we've made it at 50 to 1, etc. And so nothing new here. So let's move this across and now compare that to the four stroke engine oil. So let's take another fuel can here full of neat four stroke fuel. In very much the same way, we'll put the same metered amount of four stroke oil in with the neat four stroke fuel here. And exactly the same with the two stroke, we'll give this one a good shake just the same. And the result of course is an oil to fuel mix made with four stroke oil. So what's the big deal? Well, if we were to take both of these fuel cans mixed in exactly the same way with exactly the same amount of oil in each and the only differing factor between them is that one has four stroke oil as its mix and the other one has two stroke oil as its mix and we were to leave these two cans for a few days just sitting there and then when we come back and if we could see inside the cans we would see that the two stroke mix is still mixed nice and thoroughly but the oil and the fuel in the four stroke mix would start to separate from each other again and the oil would fall to the bottom of the can and that would mean that the fuel above it was left almost if not completely neat which of course is not a good thing and so why is that then? Why doesn't the two-stroke mix separate and the four-stroke mix does? Well, simply put, the two-stroke oil has special additives that allows it to mix with the fuel and stay that way. It allows it to suspend in the fuel for long periods of time, which four-stroke oil doesn't have because it's not designed to be put in with fuel. So having these kind of additives would be pointless. And of course, we only need one of these fuel cans to be sitting around for a day or so after it's been mixed with this four stroke oil. And then the operator or the owner of the two stroke machine, whatever it is, a chainsaw or a strimmer, etc., picks up the can, puts it in the machine, and all that's going in is little or no oil whatsoever with that fuel. Because as we know, it's all collected at the bottom of the fuel can. And it's not as simple of just thinking, well, I'll just pick up the fuel can and shake it every time I need to use it before I put the fuel in the machine so it's nice and mixed. And that's because of what goes on inside the fuel tank of the machine. So we've got this mix here of four stroke fuel inside the petrol and it's nice and mixed together because we've just shook it. So we'll put it inside the fuel tank of the machine. And so the fuel goes pouring in and we now have this four stroke fuel oil mix inside the fuel tank there. And if we start the machine straight away, of course we will be using fuel that's mixed with oil. But if this fuel and oil mix is inside the fuel tank of the machine, then it's less likely that someone will pick it up and shake it in order to mix the fuel again with the oil. That's dropped to the bottom over a period of a day or so. And that then means in the event of all of this oil that's now settled at the bottom of the fuel tank, when we come to start the machine again, then that oil will first go through to the engine to be combusted. And that now means that we've got a lot of oil in there, thick oil instead of fuel. There will be some fuel probably mixed in with it, but it will be mainly heavy oil. And this won't let the engine run very well at all. For a start, the engine will smoke excessively because oil, obviously, especially four stroke oil that wasn't designed to be combusted, won't combust very well. And because of this inefficient combustion, the engine won't run evenly. It will have running issues. It will run lumpy and bogged down. And there'll be excess coking of the engine where the carbon's building up on the piston rings and in the cylinders, etc. And that's, of course, if the engine runs at all with this high level of oil. But let's suppose it did run on that oil 
Not very well, but it did manage to run and we managed to use all of that oil and now we're using the fuel. Well, the next problem now is that this fuel is almost, if not completely, neat. And we know the negative implications of that. We've got engine damage, of course. We've got seizing and wearing of the engine parts. And all this is going to let you down as the operator and it's going to be costly. And so my first reason why four-stroke oil shouldn't be used in a two-stroke engine is mixing insufficiently. And the list of reasons I'm going to put up here isn't necessarily in order of importance. And that's because, in my opinion, four-stroke oil shouldn't be used in a two-stroke engine anyway. And so, as you know, all I'm doing is going through the possibilities that can occur when it is used. Okay, so that brings me on nicely to my next point why four-stroke oil shouldn't be used in a two-stroke engine, and that is incorrect oil-to-fuel ratio. And so what do I mean by that? Well, to explain that, let's bring back that fuel can, which has neat fuel in it, and then we'll get some two-stroke oil, and let's say this is a one-gallon can of fuel, and so we'll put the amount of two-stroke oil in there that will give us a 50 to 1 mix ratio. So 50 to 1, let's analyse that a little bit and put it into perspective. And when you work it out into percentages, what it actually means is 2%. And so of all the fluid that's inside this gallon can, only 2% of it is two-stroke oil. 2%, now that's not a lot at all. But the two-stroke oil is specially designed to have lubricating properties at low concentrations, which of course it has to, because it has to mix with the fuel in order to lubricate a two-stroke engine. But as little as 2% requirement is very impressive indeed. And so let's compare that to the four-stroke oil. Well, the four-stroke oil, of course, is designed to be used in the concentration in which it comes. So it's designed to be used neat, with no dilutions whatsoever. Other than, of course, some types of oil additives such as Slick 50 if people choose to use them. But whether they're actually required or not is debatable. But what I'm trying to get across is we do not dilute four-stroke oil like we do with two-stroke oil. So really, in comparison to two-stroke oil and its workings in the engine, four-stroke oil has to be used at 100% concentration in the four-stroke engine. So now might be a good idea to review the lubrication systems of the two different types of engines. And we've got the two-stroke engine on the left here and the four-stroke engine on the right. And so in the engine sump area here of the four-stroke engine is where the four-stroke oil lies in 100% concentration as it is supplied in the bottle. And so as the engine runs, this oil here is drawn up through the pipes and then it's supplied to all of the parts of the engine that it needs to go to. And this is the way four-stroke engines are designed. They have a lubrication system that's separated from the fueling system, which is very different to the two-stroke engine as we'll see in a moment. And so the oil that's used has to be specially designed with both the correct consistency and in 100% of its own concentration in order to lubricate this engine the way it should be lubricated. And some four-stroke engines even have a long appendage that sticks out from the bottom of the connecting rod and as the engine turns it dips in the oil at the bottom of the crankcase and then splashes it over the engine components and lubricates it that way. And what I'm trying to say is, although there are different ways the four-stroke engines use to get their lubricating oil up to their components, its oil is never in a diluted state. So to put a perspective on how ill-fitting it is to use four-stroke oil in a two-stroke engine, then let's imagine we take the full concentration of this and reduce it, put fuel in there and reduce that concentration to only 2% oil. Would we do that with a four-stroke engine like this? Absolutely not, because we know it would produce damage. In fact, to do this to this engine would seem crazy to imagine. And we've got to remember that two-stroke engines also have metal rubbing together exactly the same as this four-stroke engine does. And to expect only 2% of four-stroke oil to lubricate all of the two-stroke engine is very, very optimistic indeed. And in fact, in the past, I've seen a lot of damage to two-stroke engines from operators that do do this. Now, reviewing the two-stroke engine's oiling system here in comparison and explaining why we can get away Way, with an oiling system that's as little as 2% oil, we can see that yes, it is diluted and it comes in with the fuel and as the fuel is used around the engine, it's lubricating all the parts as it goes around the engine. The difference being is that as we mentioned earlier, the two-stroke oil has special additives, it's specially designed to be used at very low concentrations, such as this 2%. And so the take-home message is that two-stroke oil can be used in as little as 2%, and so a low quantity is required by the engine. Whereas four-stroke oil can't be diluted, and it needs a higher concentration within the engine. 
Although I've already put across just how little oil 2% ratio is, I just want to spend the next couple of minutes adding to that to clarify it a little more, so I can help further develop an appreciation of how wrong it is to use a four stroke oil in a two stroke engine. And so let's take an example of a fuel tank again, like what we saw before. And again, we've got neat petrol fuel in there shown in gray. And let's imagine we can zoom right in. In fact, let's imagine we can see through a very, very powerful microscope. Imagine we can see the molecules of the fuel. So here in this field of view, there are 50 gray dots, each representing a molecule of fuel. So we've got 50 molecules of fuel here. And laying it down and showing it from this perspective, where we've got all this neat fuel, and then showing a ratio of 50 to 1, is putting one molecule of two-stroke oil inside of all of this. For two-stroke oil to be developed in such a way that it can give protection to an engine, when we lay it down like this and see it from this perspective, is quite amazing. But seeing it like this is all fine and well for something that's designed to be used in low concentrations. But for an oil that should be used in its full concentration and not diluted at all, laying it out like this and seeing it from this perspective at 50 to 1 just further shows why using four-stroke oil in this way damages two-stroke engines. And so even if we were to double the concentration of four-stroke oil inside here and make it 25 to 1, that's just two molecules of oil to 50 molecules of fuel. And even if we go up again to 10 to 1, that's just five molecules of oil, 50 molecules of fuel. And if we even double that oil strength and go five to 1, that's merely 10 molecules of oil to 50 molecules of fuel. And for something that should never be diluted at all, this is ridiculously diluted. So what I'm trying to say is even if we really made this oil to fuel ratio really strong with oil with the hopes that we won't seize up the two stroke engine. Really we could never get it strong enough to offer the protection that two stroke oil can give because once again of the fact that it shouldn't be diluted. And another thing about four stroke oil is that it's not designed to ignite and burn inside an internal combustion engine. And so when four stroke oil is used it's going to produce black smoke and that's going to cause engine coking, coking of the spark plug, the piston rings and it's not going to allow the engine to run very well at all. And that's if it even starts. And to put it plainly, my two-stroke engines will not be running like this. And whether we're using a 5 to 1 mix, a 25 to 1 mix, or even as little as a 50 to 1 mix, there will be more engine smoking with four-stroke oil. And so there's only one type of oil that must be used in a regular two-stroke engine, and that's two-stroke oil. And so my third and final reason for not using four-stroke oil in a two-stroke engine is that it's not designed for combustion. And so that concludes my reasons why four-stroke engine oil is not to be used in a two-stroke engine. Thank you so much for making it this far and for watching this video. And please, if you have learned anything or it's benefited you in some way, then please do like and subscribe so it can help my videos like these reach other people that may need them. Thank you for watching.